The aspiration in the piece that we've all missed is really building a very solid infrastructure, right? DTCC and others are known to provide the infrastructure in the market uh, for our capital markets today. And what is lacking is a similar infrastructure for digital assets. Um, and that is key. So right now, my focus and the focus of our team in DTCC is to really collaborate with the market and start to build an end-to-end -end ecosystem. It's not all going to be. Uh, it's not all going to be maintained and created by DTCC, but DTCC is going to provide that impetus, if you will, uh, to start to bring the market together. Um, and then we'll start to build there. And to your point, Dominic, I mean, I think from the assets, it's not going to be a surprise to anybody. We definitely believe funds, and we've been very successful. Um, and the work that we've done with Wisdom Tree Prime, for example, to show that you can uh, tokenize for the act funds and be very, um, you know, very successful at doing that. You can tokenize money market funds. You can tokenize uh, private assets. The tokenization component, I've learned, um, at, you know, running security for the time that I have is not the hard part. The scary part is I can do it. You probably could do it with that phone you showed me earlier. Tokenization is not hard. What is hard is how does that then, um, how do you embed that seamlessly into um, a, a legacy infrastructure, which unfortunately we do need to maintain. There, It's impossible to think in the near future that 100% of our assets uh, will get digitized. So you still need to have a balance between the old and the new. Uh, you still need to risk manage that really well. And most importantly, you can't lose track of the client experience, right? So. Uh, that's why the infrastructure component is really important, and that's where we're going to double down our efforts. And I have been calling on the industry, and I hope, forgive me, because I'm going to do it again now, right? We shouldn't be competing on infrastructure. Nobody wins on infrastructure. It's You need scalability. You need resiliency. You need safety. And this is where there's safety in numbers with, with all of us uh, collaborating. Once we get that infrastructure done, then go out and compete on the strength of your ideas, compete on the uh, on the features of your product. And that's where I'm hoping that we DTCC will lead in that area. Going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. And so we'll import Chinese-based CBDC technology. So it's going to be CBDC in a box uh, provided to you by the People's Bank of China. But every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every private business, every piece of real estate will eventually be a token on a blockchain, an entry on a ledger, permanent and immutable. We will have truth instead of trust, and we will save over $7 trillion a year. Six to 8% of global GDP is wasted by the friction of the trust industry that's necessary when you have dual entry accounting. With triple entry accounting, which is what a blockchain is, mm -hmm. we get rid of all of that friction. It's a beautiful future. Like what you see in China and their social credit scoring systems, right? If we get identity wrong, you know, it could be a tool to enslave humanity. And if we get it right, it could be a tool to liberate humanity as an American. You know, uh, uh, I'm obviously rooting for the, the one that's on the side of freedom. Bitcoin is an international asset. And also, I do believe the role of crypto is, um, it is, it, it, it's digitizing gold. I actually believe this technology is going to be very important. I am, I, you know, look at it. We have been part of a huge revolution in investing through ETFs. We believe that ETFs will be changing the whole way we invest. Many people still use it as a means, well, people are investing it 
for indexing. No, the majority of people who are putting money in an index in an ETF are active investors that are buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. I believe the next generation for markets, the next generation for securities will be will be tokenization of securities. Um, we will, and if we can have that distributed ledger that we know every beneficial owner, every beneficial s seller, we all have our our, our code right. of who's buying, who's selling, instantaneous settlement. And think about it, it changes the whole ecosystem. The Chinese bank ICBC has been hit by a ransomware attack, and the U.S. Treasury market, as a result of that, um, has been disrupted. This, according to the Financial Times, we're going to get more right now with Bloomberg's Shanali Bassick. Shanali, what do we know? Uh, listen, we have the Financial Times now reporting that ICBC, one of China's largest banks here, was hit with a ransomware attack. And remember, they're a, a, a very significant intermediary in the Treasury market. The SIFMA has told his members that this has been part of the reason here uh, that the system is kind of clogged up, if you will, during that auction that we saw a little bit before. The attack had prevented ICBC, according to the Financial Times, from settling treasury trades on behalf of other market participants. A large executive at a major bank also telling the paper that such a large party on the fixed income clearing corp uh, creates major concerns, potentially impacting the liquidity of treasury markets. Now it was not just the poor auction. It was absolutely lousy, and, and uh, uh, you know, when, when the dealers have to step in to save a treasury auction, uh, that's a rare occurrence. And Welcome, Welcome to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher, and guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works, because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Remember, the New Road Order book shows you how the world really works, and it is definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. And 2024 is going to be one of our most entertaining years. We have the presidential election. We have the drums of beating. We have the emerging markets going to be flipping the switch on the fourth industrial revolution. Now, we had the Fed signal rate cuts, but remember, guys, they haven't cut rates yet. And also, guys, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you're donating to the channel through the actual Cash App. But guys, this next Bitcoin and crypto bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure you have the cryptos that have real utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And right now, we have Bitcoin and crypto up. Don't forget, guys, we have options tomorrow. And then we're the only game in town. So make sure you get yourselves in position. And don't forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which are slightly up. We have the dollar up. We have volume and crypto down. We have Tether and USDC, and we have Paxos unveils a yield-generating stablecoin, Lyft Dollar. And of course, it's going to start in Argentina, and we see these stablecoins flourishing in South America because they're being beat down by inflation, and it's going to force them to these stablecoins. And remember, these words are not made up for any reason. Stablecoin is going to be a stable dollar. Whatever that might be. Remember, the United States World Reserve Currency is going to lose that title. The United States is finally going to be put on a budget, so therefore we can go to a level playing field. That means there's going to be a lot of pain in the United States. And then plus, guys, we know the machine takeover. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed repo at $371 billion. Don't forget, we have the Treasury working behind the scenes. I put that in the stock Patreon account, guys. Remember, they're always going to put these safety blankets up. 
because this is an election year. They're going to keep it up, guys. And 2025 to 2028, they're going to wake the sheep. And you're hearing it out the horse's mouth. This is not my opinion. You're hearing it out the horse's mouth. You have Larry Fink telling you they're going to replace humans with machines. Elon Musk and others are saying the same thing. It's just whether you want to accept reality. And of course, the sheep never want to accept reality. Now we had the ECB cut rates after Canada. So of course, the United States, we know, is not going to cut rates. Why? Because we hold the United States World Reserve currency. They're going to keep these rates higher for longer in order to bring more pain. And even if they cut rates now, it doesn't matter. The damage has already been done. And that's why I tell you guys, enjoy these few months. Stay in the lab, but enjoy these few months because it's going to get crazy over the next few years. And we see all the events going on. The Birdman, the cyber attacks, the drums are beating. Just make sure you invest and get yourselves prepared for anything that may pop up. We know it's coming, it's just when and how, because when they bring it, they're going to turn the fear up. And we know the sheep fall for it every time. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, do not forget about the spot Bitcoin ETFs. We have BlackRock, Fidelity, and Grayscale all up. Now, getting over into a little crypto news. We have Venex says that Ethereum can hit 22000 by 2030. And this is definitely possible, but guys, remember, by 2030, the machines would have already taken over. So the fact is, you have to add in hyper deflation, because that's what we're going to be going through starting in 2026. And I'll probably do a few short videos on YouTube with these corporations aiming for 2026 for over 50% of their work being taken over by the machines, the robots, algorithms, and drones. And remember the crypto teacher told you. And then lastly, guys, we have Robinhood to buy Bitstamp crypto exchange to enable institutional trading. And Robinhood went overseas, why guys? Because remember, this plan is global and the institutions are leading the way. They're just behind the curtain. So therefore, the masses don't invest. The NWO is fine with you if you're smart enough to spot something, invest in it because you know the future. But they're not going to tell the masses. And this is how they stay in control. But the Robinhood deal, if it does go through, is expected to close the first quarter of 2025. And don't forget, the fourth industrial revolution switch gets flipped in the emerging markets this year. And then in 2025, the United States will start. And if you're a part of my Patreons, you see IKEA is already hiring in Roblox. So guys, the metaverse is definitely around the corner. We know in the Middle East is already up and running. And don't forget in 2020, it was just a trial run. A simulation just to see how people will react. Now they're ready to run the real plan. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Because he knows when it comes to the NWO, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books. Crypto teacher and the new world order book. Plus the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance. Do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The stock channel, guys. Don't forget to go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip size, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home get on stocks, the receiver, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. 
And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.